Okay, I got it fixed now. So the problem was not the used O-rings I had in there. The problem is I didn't have the diaphragm in the, the groove when I was putting them in there. Usually I stick it in there, I kind of slide it across, and that works. But in this case, it rolled under the edge, and the diaphragm was not up in the groove where it belonged. It was inside the big hole. So when you hit the juice, it started squirting down in between the gaskets and everything would blow out. The O-rings are fine. You know, and the squirter is squirting this way instead of this way. So that has a hex head on top, you can rotate it to make it where you need to be. So someone didn't have it in the right spot. So no leakage over here now. Alright, so just some dumbass, doesn't know what they're doing. Alright, so now, get back to tightening stuff up and putting it together like we're supposed to. Yep, just hard to get good help. Keep saying that. Prove it every day. Okay, that's in there. That goes down there where it belongs. What the hell do we want now? Yeah, Alice wants to go on top, still on bottom. Whatever. Pick a spot. Okay. I'm going to shut the accelerator pump off quite a bit. Now it just gives a little bit in there. So as you screw the screw and it shuts the pump off, it limits how far the lever can go. See the lever only goes just a little bit before it stops. And that's how much of a squirt you get. Just a little bit like that. It wanes for a while though. Still getting a good squirt. I think we got the motor pretty well flooded though. Okay, we got a lot of we have a high idle speed when it comes on. Okay, so all that looks good. Throttle's good. All right, I'm gonna help you with that. Go over on the other side of the bike. Put the coil back together. So this one here has a couple of bolts right here. A spacer goes in between the plate. So just put that right back up. Actually, it's a fairly easy system to get to on this bike. It looked like it was going to be a pain, but it's actually pretty simple. The hardest part is going to be putting this in here. Let's get one hole lined up. That's a pretty part. Uh, pretty side out would be nice. even less room on this side. Had more room until I fixed the petcock. Nope. Getting close to where we're supposed to be.
you know, bolt on the tip of your finger there, the nut. You're just putting pressure on and shove the bolt into it. Gotta learn how to do weird stuff with your fingers and guess how things are gonna move. All right, there was a wrench around here somewhere once. That was once. Dumbass put it back in the box. I wonder who that was. Actually, back in the bucket. Gotta watch out for that extra help around. Probably some dumbass in a blue sweater did it. Really gotta watch out for that guy. I've seen him in videos before. You tighten with your nuts, see? Yeah, that's all we get though. <laughs> yep, that's how we're gonna get all that. Problems I want more torque than that. <clears throat> that's all you're gonna get. more torque you get that way you ever get with that Allen. See it's a six point if I had a twelve point I'd get in there better. fall off now. Spark and plugs are tight. Alright. Petcock is on. Alright. We never did look inside this perm and see if there's any oil in this thing. We're assuming there's oil in here. There might be a belt drive in here. Never know. One way to find out, though. Jeez. There it goes. Try to strip the hardware out. That's how you find out. the edge. Now we got an oil leak. Jeez, who touched it?
Yep, right up to the edge. Now watch it leak. This plane didn't have any leaks before. Might now. Somebody disturbed it. It's disturbed. I never put my covers on yet either. I'm going to fix that too. All right, let's go over here to our aero cleaner. Okay, I need to put this side together. Just like that. Okay, what are we doing here? If you don't put Loctite on these screws, you might lose them. So I'll be right back. All right, we're back. So I've got my blue Loctite. So we got a couple things we got to do here. We also got to put the mounting bolts up here in the motor. So this is an early motor, so it's 91 and on back, so there's no breather bolts up in here. So it's just 5 16 screws all going there, that's it. Here, put a little blue on these. Bam. A lifetime supply. Some over here. Okay. Install the choke right into there also. They're not one to start. Could be some of it. Close the choke up helps. Until they touch, any torque on them. Got to be able to adjust these for the bolts. Looks like about in that spot there is where it's going to be. More torque on them. Okay, now we got to figure out what kind of washers we're going to use in here. So they had a big stack of washers here. So the washers take up the gap. Right up here in the head. So the gap in there. We gotta take that up. So the first thing I do is figure out how many washers we got to choose from here. So we're gonna level ladies out. So what the stack height was originally. Okay, so we're missing one of our little thin washers. Although we didn't have it, one or the other. Washers all dropped out, fell in everywhere earlier. We'll see if we need it. Okay, first thing I do is take our two big fat ones. See what we need. We need more than that. So we take our next one. And we still need more than that. We'll take one of our thin ones. And now we're getting close. But we still need more. The last one in there. And that's what is needed. Okay, so I'm going to go find me the missing washer. Check the back one to see if we need it to stack the whole stack up. The back one you can probably doesn't really need it. It's pretty close. Might not have had one in there. Okay, we got a little bit of Loctite on here already. 
Put a hole in this one. Okay, so this big stack of these go in here first. Too good. Loosen it already. Nope. Loose now. Pull this back in before it gets too tight. Big shooter ever torque this in. I want these to fall out. All right. There you go. Fall in there pretty tight now. So these are all space. When you torque them down, there's no load on the ear. If there's a load on this ear, it will break. So this one here is in there, all are tight. Choke is right under there so we didn't lose it. We got good access, works. There you go. It all fits. And your lid over here. Looks like this is a Phillips. Okay. So I'm going to put this on. Problem when you put this on, it's going to get hard to adjust the carburetor, but you should still be able to get access to it. Okay. Nice new, nice new air filter. We can see a little better. Put it locked tight on the screws or not, it's kind of a toss up. If you lock tight them, they're really hard to get out. A lot of times they strip. If you don't lock tight them, sometimes they fall out. So, that's a toss up. I usually just tighten the piss out of them, don't lock tight them. Theoretically, the air filter keeps tension on them. It's not an issue. This Phillips screwdriver is a big one. It doesn't like it. Screw 
you already rounded out a little bit. All right, so it's a nice big screwdriver. This one's getting a little rounded out. Can't torque it real good. Okay, so there we go. We got that part done. Moving up. 